Hi everybody. Lately I've been seeing a lot of people interested in Swirzla cover art and how to make them. So I made this tutorial to show you some techniques that you can use to make your covers and you can achieve similar effects to them. To make this tutorial I am using Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. If you are using another version of Photoshop, maybe some of the options I use are not there, so keep that in mind. First of all, we create a new file that is 800 in height and width, with 300 pixels in the resolution. The background color does not matter so I put it black. Then we need to look for a background. For that we go to Google and search for chaotic background. We will get backgrounds similar to those in the covers. You can also try to search for these terms that appear on the screen. Once we have it we are going to edit it to make it look darker and more aggressive. To do this, we create a gradient map going to the adjustment layers. Then click on the gradient and we are going to slide the black color towards the middle of the gradient to be able to achieve more difference in the background. Then to give it that aggressive contrast, we go again to adjustment layers and click on curves. We are going to click on the highest point and drag it to the middle. The same we do with the lowest point. When we have done that, we merge the layers with Ctrl plus E. Then, we will have to look for a character. We go to Google and search the character's name plus the word render OPNG. For example, I'm gonna use Lane. Once we have our character, we adjust it a little bit. First, we are going to make a copy of the layer of the character and we are going to desaturate it. You can do this in many ways, but I am going to do it using the tone and saturation adjustment layer and lowering all the saturation. We combine the layers with Ctrl plus E. Now we look for filters and filter gallery. Once here we click stylize and glowing edges. Make sure to keep the smoothness low. Keep it between 1 and 4. Same with the edge width. The brickness we leave it to the half. We need it to look sharper, so we do the same as with the background. We open some curves and take the points to the middle. Finish this just change the blend mode of the layer to screen and move the layer behind the character. Now the only thing we have to do is make as many copies of the stroke as you want and put them in random places. I recommend you download two or three different renders of the same character so the stroke looks varied. When we finish we are going to combine all the layers selecting the first and the last one and then press Ctrl plus E. Change the blend mode to screen and make a copy of the layer. Double click and deselect the G channel. Deselect the R and B channel on the other layer and move one of the layers with the move tool and the keyboard arrows. We will get this glitchy and distorted effect. We are going to do the same to the character. But we are going to make two copies of lane and to each one of the layers we are going to deselect one of the three RGB channels. Once done we select the marquee tool and while we maintain press the shift button, we make selections around the character. Once finished we simply move it with the arrows of the keyboard and the move tool. We will do this with each layer of lane. When finished we will look for any image out there to give the environment to our cover. I for example have some images of a sewer, some creepy eyes and the default wallpaper of windows to demonstrate that you can use anything to make this kind of art. Let's start with the sewer image, drag and drop it into the canvas. 
and open the posterize adjustment layer and we keep the levels like that. Then we will make a copy and change the blend mode of the copy to subtract and move it with the keyboard arrows. Continuing with the flowers, drag the layer overlaying and open the gradient map. I am going to put a purple gradient. If you want another color then select a dark, medium and light tone of that color in question. Next we make a layer mask and look for the brush tool. We will search legacy brushes. If you don't have them click on the gear and look for legacy brushes. Click on it and then look for dry media brushes and click on any of the brushes that are there. Select the layer mask, set the color to black and paint over the image. This will give a texture to the image and an interesting effect to our cover. Then, change the blend mode to difference, or exclusion. I like more difference so I will leave it like that. To finish the eyes, we select them and adjust them. We are going to make sure that in our color picker we have black and white. If not we hit the D key or press this button, then we go to flyer and filter gallery. Look for sketch and half tone to turn. We raise the contrast to the maximum, because if not it will look too soft and the size depends on you. Then double click on the layer and this bar down here, click on the black arrow and slide it a little bit. We can also use the brushes to give a texture to the eyes. And that's it. We have our cover done. As a general tip when it comes to Swarzlot inspired art, I recommend you to experiment a lot with the filter gallery as you might find a cool effect. As well as with the blend modes especially these four here as they will cause interesting effects in your covers. That said I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial that you have learned something new and we will see you soon.